are back at the Yorker Boat Shop in the Strahd. In the last episode, I showed you how I made a couple of small marking gauges for marking the spar. In this episode, we'll use those spar marking gauges to shape the spar down to take the four-sided uh, piece of lumber down to eight, 16 sides, and then round. I did find using the smaller marking gauge with the pencils worked the best, and here I am just sliding the marking gauge along the edges of the square stock and having the pencils mark off where I need to plane to. With the four corners marked with my marking gauge, it's time now to knock those corners down to get an eight-sided uh, mast. Just making sure that I have actually eight sides and they're all sort of even. Just kind of numbered them in as I go so I don't end up shaving off the wrong corner. So three, four, five, six, seven, and eight sides is what we have now and they're fairly even, I would suggest. It's not perfect. Still can see my pencil lines, which is good because I don't really want to be losing too much in the way of pencil lines. So now the next would be to take this from 8-sided figure to a 16-sided figure, which is very carefully just knocking off these corners. Whether I do that by hand plane now, I think might be a little better than the power plane. So we'll move on to hand tools now. Sanding that spar around was uh, quite a bit of effort actually. Now I know I could have made a little adaption to my belt sander, turned the belt inside out, and run that sucker around there with uh, you know 60, 80 grit and it would have done the job probably in half the time. But in trying to figure out the actual time to make that little jig and the amount of time I would actually use it over the course of the next few years of building, it just didn't seem quite worth it. Although my arms are pretty tired, but I'm very, very glad that that job is over. Wait, what? Sorry? Oh, yeah. Still have to make the uh, yard. Alright, well at least that one's smaller, so I'll uh, get on to that one, but it shouldn't take as long.
So with a slightly under two inch diameter, I need to cut a slot right through the mast so that the sheave will go inside in a slot with a pin through, let it turn. So we're going to go a little over two inches and fairly close up the top. We can get the mast or the sail up as high as possible. But I also need to make sure that, you know, I don't get beyond two inches. I just have a small little drill press and to uh, make sure I'm going straight through the mast top with my 5 8 Forstner bit. I have just blocked up the other end and I'm kind of set up on the floor which is way too difficult on my short little workbench. It's a little bit harder on the knees. I've also made this little block just scrap lumber here just to hold it from rotating. It's uh, pretty solid. I mean I can turn it. Hard to tell if I made it through or not. So I'm just flipping it over because if I push too hard I may just end up tearing out the back side. So I'm just going to come from both sides to the middle. Get a nice straight edge on here. I think the rest can be done with rasp. That's going to work pretty well. I want the sheave to be a diameter to be a little bit wider actually so that as ropes or, or, or halyards are coming down they're not going to rub on this edge here. So now it's just a matter of drilling a hole through to which I will put a, uh, bra or a brass rod and that is quarter inch shaft opening. So uh, should be able to go with the quarter inch and drive a nice piece of uh, but this will be done later next up is to final sand and I'm going to epoxy coat these masts and, and yard. I did decide to coat these, the uh, mast and the yard and a few other parts with epoxy just to make them a little more durable I'm just going to scuff sand them now and get them ready for varnish
made and the yard made, epoxy coated and varnished, it's ready to install in the skiff. So that's going to conclude this episode. Thank you very much for watching. And please do consider becoming a subscriber. The button's right down there on your screen. Uh, maybe hit that bell button. It'll remind you that uh, new episodes will be coming out. In our next episode, I'll be working on rudder and tiller and finally getting this boat ready for delivery.